hi families you welcome back to my beautiful channel this is god doxas once again and today we are making a kukamido purple between liquid self-actant we have this in a powdered form and we are going to transfer it into a liquid form and sometimes you may have kukamido purple between in a powder form and incorporating it into your recipe is somehow difficult because you would have to heat it in you would have to um dissolve it in a hot water before you add your other pres um additives and sometimes some preservatives are heat sensitive so um you would have to wait for some time for the water to cool down for your water phase to cool down before you add your other um, um, ingredients or other additives so it is better to dissolve this into a liquid form so that you can use it right away anytime any day okay so um for this batch i am making a 1000 gram batch and i need 30 percent of kokamido propel between powder and then 70 percent distilled water so with this formula you can transfer it into any batch size that you want if you want to make 500 grams you can do it 30 percent of um you can google search 30 percent of 500 grams on you will get the answer and then 70 percent of 500 grams and you will get the answer so the final um product is going to be 30 percent active surfactant matter in there and that is it sometimes you can use this in a powdered form but that is time consuming yeah as i said earlier on you would have to dissolve it in your water phase first before you add your other ingredients and that is you it's going to take a lot of time from your formulation so dissolving it before you add it to your before you use it in your recipe is actually the best way to do it and if you want to use it in a powdered form it is up you can use it up to 10 percent and um in a, in its liquid form you can use it up to 30 percent so you need to take note of that so um i'm gonna dissolve this in the hot water and i think you saw the temperature on the screen around 155 degrees fahrenheit and um that is the temperature required for you to dissolve because you cannot dissolve this in cold water so the reason why i'm pouring this bit at a time is because when you dump everything inside the distilled water the powder is going to clump up and it's going to be very difficult to even stir it the last time that i did that um i really really struggled i even have to microwave again i have to double boil it and stuff and you know water do evaporate so all those process made me lose a lot of water whilst i was doing this so the easier way is to pour the powder a bit at a time so that it can give you easy access of stirring it and then it will also help you to dissolve it faster yeah
okay so i'm gonna cover this up and i did cover this for like five minutes or so and then came back to give it a good stir because i was tired of stirring it my 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 hands was um shaking so i have to leave it there for a short period of time and then i came back to give it a stir again but we are almost done yeah we are almost done and everything has dissolved so you can see that left with some small crystal um powder in there and very soon they will all dissolve and you don't really need a preservative for this um self-accent because it has a very high ph um around eight or nine so you don't really need a preservative for that and um, with this 1000 grams too i'm gonna use this like in less than two weeks so i don't really have a problem with that but if you want to add a preservative i don't know which preservative can withstand um a ph of eight or nine yeah, so you can see that the ph is around eight between eight and nine around there so i don't know which preservative can work for this ph but you still don't really need a preservative for that so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates bye bye